we're going to use the new smile design feature to make some prepless veneers for a patient of mine. And the first thing we do is we take a two-dimensional image of them with a nice smile picture. And then we transfer that information over to CEREC by placing some uh, key indicator points along the face. This allows us to do a couple things. It allows us to uh, have a three-dimensional face and then also the teeth cut out so we can put in her digital teeth. Her digital teeth is uh, simply done with the scan of her upper and lower teeth and then oriented. And then we take that digital model and put it right into her two-dimensional picture. And there's a rotation and positioning uh, tool that allows us to rotate that model and guide it right into place so that it fits exactly into her face as it does in real life. We can check uh, from the front, obviously, and then also from left and right to make sure the anterior posterior position is correct for the patient. We'll let Sarah uh, figure out the proposals or the shapes of the teeth. With a little modification, we can have uh, eight veneers ready to go. And then we have a nice little guideline mode that allows us to see horizontal and vertical better. That way we can look at the midline in a way that we can make sure that the left and the right seem symmetrical. And we can also take that to the face actually, so that we can see how those uh, angles, the horizontal and the vertical will line up with the face. It's a very nice feature to get a good uh, parallelism with the, uh, with the pupils. During the proposal stage or the design stage, we have an incisal variation feature where we can scroll through different textures and incisal edges to customize each of the restorations. And then all it takes is to start milling them out. These eight prepless veneers were roughly three tenths of a millimeter thick, especially at the margins.